Welcome to today's deep dive into the world of concrete. If you've worked in construction or studied civil engineering, you already know that concrete is everywhere, from foundations and columns to roads and dams. It's reliable, accessible, and has stood the test of time. But here's the thing. Conventional concrete, as common and useful as it is, has its own limitations, especially when it comes to long-term durability, exposure to harsh environments, and high-stress applications. So, what if we told you there's a smarter version of concrete, engineered for the future, with advanced properties to meet modern-day structural challenges? That's where High Performance Concrete, or HPC, comes into play. What is High Performance Concrete, HPC? High Performance Concrete is not just stronger concrete. It's engineered concrete. It's designed with a clear purpose to outperform traditional concrete in strength, durability, and workability. Now, we typically consider concrete grades like M20 to M30 as suitable for general construction. But high-performance concrete usually starts from M30 and goes upward to M40, M50, M60, or even more. But here's the key. HPC isn't defined only by strength. It's defined by how well it performs across multiple parameters like permeability, durability, shrinkage, and environmental resistance. What makes HPC different from normal concrete? Let's draw a simple comparison. First up, compressive strength. Normal concrete usually falls in the range of M20 to M30, which works well for regular construction. But high-performance concrete? It starts from M40 and can go up to M60 or more making it ideal for structures where strength is non-negotiable. Next is durability. Normal concrete is moderately durable and fine for everyday conditions. HPC, on the other hand, is built to resist chemical attacks, weathering, and harsh environments, ensuring long-term performance. When it comes to workability, normal concrete may need vibration or external compaction. But HPC is often self-compacting or highly workable making placement easier, especially in complex formworks. Water-cement ratio is another key difference. In normal concrete, it's around 0.5 to 0.6, which can make it more porous. HPC uses a lower ratio, around 0.3 to 0.4, which boosts both strength and density. Now, let's talk about permeability. Normal concrete can allow water and chemicals to seep in over time. HPC is designed with very low permeability, protecting internal reinforcement and extending the life of the structure. What about admixtures? In standard mixes, you might see little or no admixtures used. But HPC heavily relies on superplasticizers and mineral additives like fly ash, silica fume, and GGBS to enhance its properties. Shrinkage and cracking? With normal concrete, drying shrinkage and surface cracks are common. HPC is engineered to minimize shrinkage, reducing the chances of long-term cracking. And when it comes to reinforcement, normal concrete rarely uses fibers. HPC may be enhanced with steel or synthetic fibers to increase ductility and impact resistance. The elastic modulus, or how stiff the concrete is. In normal concrete, it's adequate for basic structures. But in HPC, a higher elastic modulus offers better load distribution and structural behavior. Finally, the applications. Normal concrete is perfect for homes, pavements, and low-rise buildings. But HPC is the go-to choice for bridges, tunnels, marine structures, and high-rise buildings, where reliability and long-term performance are critical. If you're finding this breakdown helpful and want more insights like this on concrete technology and smart construction practices, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We regularly explore topics that help both students and professionals stay updated with modern construction techniques. Let's continue. Let's check how HPC is made. Turning regular concrete into HPC is not just about adding more cement. It's about balancing the mix with precision. Let's break it down. 1. Cement and Supplementary Materials We start with high-grade Ordinary Portland Cement, OPC. But we also add supplementary cementitious materials, like Silica Fume, reduces porosity and improves strength. Fly Ash, improves workability and long-term strength. 
GGBS Ground Granulated Blast Furnace Slag Improves Durability Metacalin or Rice Husk Ash Enhances Resistance to Chemical Attacks 2. Fine and Coarse Aggregates Aggregates must be well graded, clean, and durable. Their shape and texture directly affect the strength and cohesiveness of the mix. 3. Water Cement Ratio The water cement ratio is one of the most crucial factors. In HPC, it's kept very low, typically between 0.25 and 0.35. This makes the concrete denser and less permeable. But a lower ratio makes workability difficult. So we compensate using admixtures. 4. Chemical admixtures. HPC makes use of superplasticizers to increase flow without adding water, retarders or accelerators depending on setting requirements, air and training agents, especially for freeze-thaw environments, shrinkage-reducing admixtures to improve dimensional stability. 5. Use of fibers in high-performance concrete. Another important ingredient in the HPC mix is fibers. Adding fibers enhances the concrete's mechanical behavior, especially when it comes to controlling micro-cracking, improving tensile strength, and increasing impact resistance. Common types of fibers used include steel fibers for improving toughness and load-bearing capacity, polypropylene fibers for better crack resistance and shrinkage control, glass fibers offering high tensile strength and corrosion resistance, Carbon fibers, used in ultra-high performance mixes for strength and conductivity. Natural fibers, such as jute or coir, used in eco-friendly or cost-effective mixes. These fibers are dispersed uniformly throughout the concrete mix, allowing the concrete to behave more like a ductile material. This is particularly useful in seismic zones, bridge decks, industrial floors, and precast elements. The rebars provide primary structural strength, while the fibers improve performance under dynamic loads, reduce cracking, and improve service life. 5. Curing Process Curing in HPC is more controlled. Steam curing, membrane curing, or water immersion might be used depending on the project. Proper curing ensures the mix achieves its full potential in both strength and durability. Properties that define high-performance concrete, HPC. So, how exactly do we define high-performance concrete? HPC is not just about achieving higher strength. It's about enhancing every key property of concrete to meet specific performance goals. Here are the primary characteristics. High compressive strength, typically greater than M30, and often reaching M40, M50, or even M60+. Exceptional durability. Resistant to chemical attacks carbonation, chloride ingress, alkali silica reactions, and weather-related erosion. Excellent workability. Maintains ease of placement and compaction, even in densely reinforced or complex forms. Shrinkage resistance. Reduced internal stresses help control early and long-term cracking. Low permeability blocks water and chemical ingress, offering superior protection for embedded steel. High modulus of elasticity. Ideal for load-bearing members requiring stiffness and stability. Advantages of high-performance concrete. Choosing HPC offers a wide range of benefits. Extended lifespan of structures, minimizing degradation over time. Lower maintenance and repair costs throughout the life cycle. Enhanced sustainability, especially when using industrial byproducts like fly ash or silica fume. Reduced member dimensions due to higher strength allowing for slimmer, more elegant designs. Improved aesthetics, finish, and surface texture. Challenges or limitations of HPC. While HPC offers outstanding performance, it also comes with some important considerations. Higher initial cost, primarily due to premium materials, admixtures, and testing. Demanding quality control during batching, placing, and curing requires skilled labor and experienced supervision for accurate implementation, may not be practical for temporary or low-budget structures. Despite these challenges, when used correctly, HPC delivers long-term value far beyond the initial investment. High-performance concrete is the future of resilient infrastructure. To sum it up, high-performance concrete is more than just a stronger mix. 
It represents a shift in how we think about durability, sustainability, and the evolving demands of civil infrastructure. It's a material designed to adapt, perform, and last, even in the toughest environments. For students, understanding HPC is a gateway into advanced construction materials and engineering practices. For professionals, it's the foundation of long-term, cost-efficient design in today's built environment. If you found this guide helpful and want more technical content on civil engineering topics, make sure to follow us and subscribe for detailed breakdowns, real-world applications, and cutting-edge construction knowledge. Stay curious. Build smarter.